Hello again, Victor here from Rescue Studio. Welcome back guys to another YouTube video of mine where in this video we're taking a look at something that I don't actually have much experience with and that would be tremolo pedals. Uh, in this particular video we're just going to be focusing on one tremolo pedal and that would be the Electro Harmonics Stereo Pulsar variable tremolo that I have right here in front of me. You should be able to see it in, in that camera right there. Um, like I said, I really don't have much experience. Actually, I have zero experience with tremolo pedals, so I don't even, I didn't even know where to put it in the pedal chain. Uh, I did have one on my board for maybe two years or something, but I didn't even turn it on once. And that's that's how much I don't use tremolo. I, I don't see why you would use them, but a lot of people do, most famous, famously. Uh, what is it, Boulevard of Broken Dreams with Green Day? Uh, when, when you hear that first intro chord, you just know what song it is, and that's mainly because of the tremolo. So um, I did set it up already. Uh, I have it in front of my pedal board, I'm more on the setup later, but uh, I think I should just grab a guitar and we should get some tones out of this. Let's see if I can find a use for it. Maybe I can, maybe I can't, but I guess we'll find out in a second, but let me let me grab the guitar. All right, guys, so today's setup is gonna be me running this beautiful Harley Benton CST 24T P90 Ocean Flame. I think I got the name right first try uh, that I have right here. Gorgeous flame top on that one and beautiful P90 pickups and a beautiful tremolo. Uh, I already did a full review on this guitar and if you want to watch more of this guitar, you should definitely click the link up there. Uh, the guitar is running directly into the pedal because I decided to have it first in my pedal board chain. So uh, from the guitar into the Electro Harmonics Pulsar and I'm running it through my pedal board that I have in front of me. I think if I did remember from the last video I did, I shot some B-roll of my pedal board so that should hopefully be on screen for you guys now. From the pedal board I'm running into my Fender Bass Breaker 18 over 30 way over there uh, and that is not being mic I am using the two notes Captor X for the guitar tones or the cabinet emulations. Yeah I think that's pretty much the setup for today. I just tuned the guitar hopefully it's still in tune usually they are when you just tune them uh, and this is my clean tone on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Well, I say clean, but it's on the edge of breakup. These pickups are almost as hot as on my uh, Gibson Les Paul. That's... These pickups are hot. So let's get everything at 12 o'clock. No, actually, let's go over the pedal itself. You have a an input right here. You have a main out and then you have a stereo out. And that is because you can run this pedal in stereo. But I know a lot of you guys watching this don't have the capabilities to running stereo setups. Maybe you don't have two amps. Maybe you don't have stereo input on your um, audio interface, so I'm just running this in mono. It takes nine volt, nine volts in on the back, then you have a depth control, you have a shape control, you have a rate control, and then you have a little toggle switch right here, allowing you to switch between tri-waves and a, what is it called? That's called a square wave. Right now I have it set at the tri-wave, and now I will engage the pedal. Everything at 12-ish. 12-ish, and this is what that sounds like. Let's fiddle with the depth control, the depth all the way down.
almost non-existent and the depth all the way up. It got weird real fast. Let's keep the depth right there so we can properly hear what the shape does. So I have no idea what these symbols mean. Like it goes from a reverse sine wave or well, it's a triangle wave, but you catch my drift, right? So this is the shape knob all the way down. Bit up, okay, maybe at two o'clock. A little slower rate. Okay, so it goes kinda like I would I would classify this as a tremolo. And then when we go all the way to the right, all the way up, it kind of sounds like a delay, but when you let go of the strings or mute the strings, it just disappears. Do you know what I mean? And back at 12 o'clock, I can't even see what it says on there. I can't even see it on that camera right there. So. Hopefully you can see what that is. Can you tell it's it's sort of like usually that that's a wave or in this case it's a triangle but then it goes like it goes from this to to this or more like it starts in the middle it's it's kind of hard to explain. But that definitely sounds like a delay, but when you let go, or again, like when you mute the strings, it just disappears. So maybe if we get some reverb on there, let's, let me get a little bit more mix. No, it doesn't really do anything. Well, let's get it over to what I would classify as the normal tremolo setting. And let's play with the rate knob. This is how slow it goes. So like, that's really slow. That's really slow. If I would were to use that, I would get the depth like way down. So it would just add something like some stereo kind of thing when you were playing live. It's like, it's like a, uh, what is it called, like a chorus, but not really giving you that kind of modulation. It's just, it just adds something. So like, it's barely there. It's just adding, like I said, something. Uh, that would be how I would use the rate all the way down there. So the rate all the way up sounds like this. Almost, almost broken. Should we figure out what the toggle switch does? I think we should. So we were at the tri wave and now we're going to the square wave. 
So it hits a lot harder. Oh, that's probably what it is. Like the top one right here, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but the top one is a tri-wave and the bottom one is a square wave. When we get over here, it almost sounds non-existent. So let's keep it at maybe 12 o'clock. And then the rate. some reverb. Maybe even, let no, let's keep the reverb on and let me add some Ibanez Super Stereo Chorus. quite like that. Okay, so now let's see what it sounds like if I add some overdrive from the Steel Singer drive from Nux, which I also did a full review on. Link should be up there. Get the depth a bit more up. Okay, not that crazy. Let me get a little less rate. It almost sounds like there's taka 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 like like two different kinds of of tremolos happening. So like if I go to this shape right here it would be half the speed. That sounds shuffled. Taka 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 taka. Back to the square wave. Okay, there we go. That almost sounds like when you turn the shape knob up at 12 o'clock, like almost like there's some subdivisions going on in there. Would you use this for a solo? Let's try. Uh, get some delay in there and some OCD. I think I would be preferring the tri-wave for solo. I don't know if I would be using that for solo stuff. Like for the chord stuff, that's that's okay. It's so weird that it sounds so much like a delay, but it just stops as soon as I stop playing. It's so weird. I'm gonna be honest, tremolo is not my kind of thing. It might be your kind of thing. 
Um, and if it is, I think it's, it, I don't know, does it sound good? I have no idea. Let me know in the comment section down below. It definitely is something different. And if you're looking for different, you should buy this thing. I, I can say that much. If you're looking for different and if you want to experiment with your tones and your sounds, you should go and buy it. Check it out. Find a local guitar store now that COVID is finally, well, not over, but you can go into a music store now. You haven't been able to in Denmark for like the past one and a half years. So that's pretty crazy. So is this thing for you? Well, it's not for me it, and it might be for you. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you liked this pedal. Uh, I'm really excited to hear about your opinion on this one. So uh, I think I'm going to wrap up this video right here and now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. And as always, have a good one. Take care and bye bye.